is a really exciting product to introduce this year. There's nothing else out there in the marketplace like this. And what it is is a large capacity, large area coverage uh, spreader sprayer. It's a common product to have a spreader sprayer combination. And um, there's various sizes. So you kind of have small, medium, large in spreader sprayer world, just like we have with lawnmowers. This is the extra large. Okay. This is for getting those big, big areas where the current product, there's nothing out there that can spray, treat this big, wide area, whereas this machine can. And the booms fold in, so actually you can transition from doing huge, wide areas to a small, compact area, so it's a pretty versatile type machine. So we have dual tanks that reach an 80-gallon spray capacity, so that means you can uh, less refills, but more importantly, when you combine that with a much wider boom, a 12-foot boom, you can get a lot more done in the same amount of time. So roughly, you're looking at an increase in productivity of about 20%. 20%, boil that down to uh, what a landscaper might do in a day. Um, that's a shaving an hour or two off the day, or a nice way to look at it as well as what you used to do in five days, you can now do in four days. The engineers did a lot of very innovative things with this machine. Making that pivoting front end was robust and strong and functioning is very tough. And then uh, one simple thing is this boom is a breakaway boom. So you'll notice it drops down, but then also if you hit something, it flexes and goes with it instead of breaking. So all other spreader sprayers out there don't have that breakaway feature, and so they would become damaged. So we've reduced um, uh, any type of service or failure points with that. Yep. And then of course, every big machine needs big, big, big tires for flotation and reducing compaction of the turf, and you'll those are the biggest possible tires um, in, that you could put on a machine here in the industry right now. And the other key things that are critical for it that make it even more productive, depending on the application, are its low center of gravity and its traction. The machine is, its weight and its componentry is down low. You can even see it in our tanks. It keeps the weight down low. Makes it awesome on hills. Um, spreader sprayers are known for not being that great on hills. This is a mountain goat. Um, what's that mean? Um, most of the time with a spreader and sprayer, um, you'll see the rear, rear on the back of it. Um, when you come to a hill, the machine can't climb. The operator parks the machine and then with a spray wand, walks on the hill and sprays that hill. Our machine, you don't have to get off it. You just keep on going because it has that traction and low center of gravity. In addition to that, we have our articulating front end, a pivoting front end. Ferris is known for comfort, speed, and traction, and those types of innovations, and this spreader sprayer has that as well. So this front end articulates, and what that does is gives you a really nice, uh, or sorry, improved traction and hillside stability, and at the same time, it uh, enhances your comfort. So our spreader hopper is a little bit more capacity at 250 pounds. Uh, where most out there max around 200 pounds, so we have a little bit more capacity um, than competitive units do. And then our bags, we have extra capacity you can carry, two extra bags of granular here on the right and the left um, in a nice pocket and it's protected. And then the comfort continues. The pivoting front end takes the rattle from the ground, uh, but in the back, our platform has some um, isolation in it, not a shock per se, but some um, isolation in it to make it ride and feel a little bit more comfortable. And then we use our standard uh, stand-on pad. So we have a nice ergonomic uh, thigh pad that you lean up against, allows you to have a few different operator positions. And then we move up into the controls and the dash layout. You'll notice everything is laid out conveniently right in front of you. Um, easy to reach and intuitive. Adjustments are simple and easy to make. Even adjusting your speed is to switch a lever and readjust that cam. Maintenance on the machine is relatively easy. Um, this 
lifts up. You can get into the machine, you can see the machine. And then um, a very unique machine uh, aspect of this machine as well is that there are no belts. The transmission is bolted directly to the engine and uh, that coupling um, reduces the need to ha or drives the need for not having a belt. Um, and then there's one less part for failure on the machine as well.